Hey David, you're tired of commoning names three spheres of action for a successful commons. Tell me more about the triad and especially peer governance. The triad is the framework that my colleague Silke Helfrich and I came up with to describe how to create healthy, productive commons. The focus is on the relationships among people and with their shared wealth. The triad of commoning focuses on three main sets of activities, the social life of commons, the provisioning of needs, and peer governance. For each of these areas, there are a dozen or more patterns that describe how successful commoners do it. For example, for peer governance to work, people must learn how to share knowledge generously with each other and assure the consent of commoners in making decisions. Commoners also prefer to rely on a more egalitarian heterarchy, horizontal modular governance, over hierarchies which tend to elevate the few over the many and often produce abuses of power. Commoners also have to decide what sorts of rules are necessary and fair. How will rules be enforced? How will a commons insulate itself from markets so that money making doesn't become a corrupting force? Every commons has to develop its own special answers to these questions. That's why peer governance is a journey into a real democracy. It's not just the superficial democracy of voting for party candidates at elections or consumers voting with their money in the marketplace. Commoning is a different kind of politics, a politics of belonging, of trust building, of self-determination. It's a politics of shared responsibilities and entitlements to steward our own wealth outside of the market and the state. Interesting. I'll share it.